The clothes are so cute. What is this? I finessed the system always. This is probably like 10 kilos of denim that I have in my hands right now. I have lived out my kawaii Harajuku dream. I want to hold the baby goat and put it in my jacket and go home with it. I'm Faith. I'm Angel. I'm Jasmine. I'm Esmeralda. And if you're new here, we're a girl show on YouTube about fashion and beauty. And loving yourself. We drop episodes every Tuesday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And give us a big thumbs up if you, if you like liked it. We're all giving you guys a virtual hug. But in this episode, we are doing One color fits. It's what we're doing in this episode. <laughs> this challenge is gonna be super sick as you guys have been asking for this all in the comments. We're each gonna get a mystery box and see what color's inside and base our fit off the color in our box. Bring on the boxes. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Whoa, oh my God. I got a rat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what color did you get? Orange. Orange. Pink. Blue. Red. Pink. The Power Rangers. Since it is one color fits, there's pretty much no rules except wearing one color that you got yeah. in the box. Our judge for this challenge is going to be Bella Muller, Jasmine's little sister. I'm Angel. I'm Jasmine. I'm Esmeralda. Bella! Uh, Bella. <laughs> I'm so excited to have my sister judge it as well. I have no idea who's gonna win. I look excited to see you look like a carrot. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be a real life carrot. We're all gonna go off, hustle, brainstorm, get together our one color fit looks, and we're gonna come back, and Jasmine's gonna pick which outfit she likes the best. No. Jasmine. Jasmine? I mean, shit. Jasmine! <laughs> shit! Oh my yes. god, I'm so yes. All right. We in there. Your girl, what? I'm still in LA, as you can tell, because the sun. I came down to South London at this motorcycle store. Motocross has been an inspiration for a lot of brands. I'm gonna be walking around, getting inspo. Hopefully I can find some red things. As soon as I opened my box and I saw the pink, I knew that I wanted to do something that's Harajuku, Japanese inspired. I think that's gonna be my inspo for today. So I wanted to create an all denim fit. I really want to mix high-end brands and high street brands. Weekday have a really cool denim section and they're also a brand that really wants to push the message about sustainability and fashion. Perfect place to start with creating my fit. I'm out here in LA and the golf store is in LA, so sis is gonna check that out. I mean, might as well, cause I'm out here. Well, as soon as I saw the color, I immediately got inspired by Tyler, the creator, and his campaign with ASAP Rocky. I just want like a twist of Tyler. I found these two boys and I'm gonna ask them what I should do. I finesse the system always. You should get an orange crop top. An orange crop top. Orange shoes, orange shoes. I make like some shoes that look like a basketball. You know how like a janitor, the whole, the whole fit, like a jumpsuit. That's it, a jumpsuit. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking for some red stuff. And I'm, look at it. What is this? Fruits Magazine is a Japanese streetwear magazine that was founded in 1997, and pretty much the guy who owned it would go out in the streets of Tokyo and take photos of all the really cool kids. He discontinued the magazine in February 2017 because he said there was no more cool kids walking around. In honor of Fruits Magazine, I'm going to be the new cool kid for him to photograph. I absolutely love wearing denim. However, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of resources to make denim. Brands that like to rework and reuse denim material and fabric is really sick. We do like really dark shoes and then the skirt would be over it and then it gets lighted all the way. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good idea! Sick! Who's in the bag? <laughs> what you got in the bag? Okay. 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 Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Time out. No, the, the accessories. Supreme box oil. This is not red, but I think it's really cool, so. 
<laughs> this is like backwards birth. I am in art box. Oh, there's so much cute stuff in here. There's Lida Kuma bath mats. There's Lida Kuma plushies. They have Gudatama plushies, which is like, there's Tokidoki plushies. They have a whole My Melody section, which is so cute. Hello Kitty. They have these little like squishy things that are like, they like smell good. They smell like cake when you squeeze them. Wait, does, oh, maybe these don't. Those actually kind of stink. Okay, so I'm outside of the golf store. Unfortunately, there's no filming. Hopefully I could find something that's orange. I'm gonna go in there, scope the sheen, the jelly bean, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Let's get some jeans. I like a light wash, probably more than a dark wash. Then I come back here to the jackets, because I could do a bunch of, oh, why? <laughs> The clothes are so cute. As you can see, if you just look at these racks, majority of it is pink. They have these cute little onesies. This one's Hello Kitty. And this one. Oh my God, and it has a tail. This is probably like 10 kilos of denim that I have in my hands right now. So it looks like absolutely nothing in the store is right. So I'm all done interviewing people, hustling my fit, my last in LA, but I feel really good and confident about it because I'm gonna go back to London, stunning. 99, 100. <laughs> okay. What's up guys, it's Farmer Joe, and welcome back to my barnyard. I'm here at Spitterfield City Farm. There's rams, goats, pigs. I got greens, beans, potatoes, lamb, rags, hogs. My childhood was in my grandma's house and she kind of has like a farm. She, only had, she had horses, cows, pigs, chickens, which is how I got my phobia of birds because my cousins locked me in a chicken cage. <laughs> when I got the color orange, I immediately thought of Tyler the Creator. So he had a baby goat with him and he had a baby go with him and... That's what I'm gonna do too. All right, so I think it's time to try this gear on. Oh! I'm gonna go and have a look in menswear because menswear usually has really cool like hoodies and tops and stuff. Um, I wanna hold the baby goat and put it in my jacket and go home with it. I went all around the store. I picked up the best pink pieces I saw. So now I'm gonna have a little try on session. Wait, what is that one doing? <laughs> Oh, he's backing it up. Bust down. That's a geese. That's a geese. That's a geese. Look at those chickens. Hi, baby. He didn't invite me. I was scared. I feel like I've been working out. This is Jenny. Not Jenny from the block, but Jenny from the city farm. And she's going to be touring me around the farm and letting me touch the little babies to win this whole challenge. I need to borrow baby goat. No. Oh my God, no. Ew. No. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. So I'm trying to. I need help. So I've just tried on a bunch of stuff in weekday. It's looking sick. I already kind of know what I want to do now. I've had the best time of my life in here. I have lived out my kawaii Harajuku dreams. I don't know what the other girls are up to, but I know it's nothing as cool as this store. Ow! Ow! Oh. Oh. Please! She's definitely not going to wear anything this crazy because I feel like I'm about to have a heat stroke right now. <laughs> Guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned, because the race is on. Don't know. <laughs> OK, you guys, so we're back in the studio. It is Judgment Day today, and we are joined by my sister, Bella. Hi. Bella, Bella, Bella. <laughs> hey, Bella. Bella, 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 Bella. Bella. 
are you feeling, Bella? I'm so excited to see this what you've so done. This is so freaking crazy. It's so <laughs> weird. On the chair, and then looking at Jazz, it's like... So, do you have any like specific things you're looking for in our fit? I want to see your personal styles really come out in this. Because this is a challenge where you can just... You could have done anything with it, just as long as it's one color. Like, you could do so much. But I want to see you, because I hang out with you guys. I know like your own individual styles. So I definitely want to see it come out today. Angel, you show me what you've done. Okay. It was so fun and like, it was just so cute to look at. Like you could not be mad at the outfit. When I got the pink, I initially thought of like kawaii, like Harajuku Japanese. So I went and I got the Old Fruits magazines. I like went through them, found inspo. Then I went to this store called Artbox and it's pretty much like kawaii Japan in a store. Oh my gosh, so I, I went, there. I got this. It's so cute, I love that. Thank you. I got, um, yeah, these platform shoes, yeah, the socks. Yeah, those are sick. And then this was from Urban. You definitely look like a little, like, Bratz doll, and that's how I used to style my Bratz, like, with the big shoes. I love how, like, you, like, have paid homage to, like, your heritage, kind of, and you've made it, like, the Japanese Harajuku style, which is really sick. Arigato gozaimasu. Sit down. Sayonara. Sit down. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, Faith, you're up next. Please go get ready. <laughs> I'm in my mom's car. My fit. Got the race car boots. <gasps> what? Whoa! With the race car oh jeans, race car shirt, the race car nails. Faith looked faith when she came out. Like it was a powerful, strong fit. It just reminds me of like bold, like extra race car driver, like motocross. It's been trending recently. It's a look that I've always wanted to just try out. For my hustle, I went to a real like motocross store or motorcycle store so I can get like real inspiration for my look. That's why I'm wearing like all the real deal stuff. Faith, I really like this look. You've definitely taken risks. I was expecting that, but yeah, you definitely pulled out the bag and I love this. Faith, you look great. I actually really like this look and I think that you did it well. I'm absolutely obsessed with this jacket, like the straps on it, that's so fly. And I think that even though it's like motocross gear, you make it look like fashion, so. Okay, thank you so much, Faith. Please take a seat and sissy. Do you want to go? Yask. Yask. When Jasmine came on that denim fit, I was living for it. I was really like literally seizing, like I loved it so much. I got the color blue and I thought instantly to work with denim. And the only issue that I have is like, there's like a big problem in like fashion industry at the moment with like sustainability. So I use brands that like are known for like sustainability and reworking denim and stuff like that. The shoes are Mason Margiela, mm -hmm. tabby boots. Then the jeans are Mason Margiela with H&M, but they're like really baggy, oversized denim that he basically went to a vintage store and bought these like giant jeans and then reworked them. This little thing is like a Ooh, little apron wow. from Weekday and Weekday, and this is also from Weekday. This bag is Philip Lim, and then the glasses are Ace and Tate. Yeah, just wow. ro rocking quadruple maluple denim. I love it, and I love how flattering this is. And then like really baggy pants. Shook is me, woe is me, because this is 
so fire. It looks so, so good. I love the tabby boots. And I just love how like all the denims are different. I think this is fire. I like the aspect of like sustainability because we're all about saving the environment. Okay, Esme, do you want to go next? Oh Lord. Yes. <laughs> Cute. So I was inspired by Tyler the Creator and I was in LA. In the campaign photo, there's a picture of Tyler and he's holding a baby lamb. I went to a farm and I tried to get myself a baby goat, but unfortunately I couldn't. But I got the next Aww. best thing. This is baby Enzo. Aww. Cute. He's a friend of Kyra. So with this fit, I was trying to challenging my inner Tyler. I have not the Lefers, but they're just the one-star Converse. I went to the golf store, got the sweats. I have to put down the dog if I'm gonna explain my fit. Yeah, this tee is vintage. The vest is Carhartt, and this is Alpha. And but they're it's all like kind of different very tones. Esme. This is really cute. I like your outfit. I think it looks super sick for an all orange outfit. Like, I, it actually looks like an outfit you could like wear and you could just pull it off. Really, I love this outfit. I love it on you. I love it with the wig and the makeup. Oh, well done. Mm. Do I sit? Was sit here. Sit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I hold him? So guys, I loved every fit. I think you all did really, really well. Angel, I love the girliness and I love how you've gone to, through your heritage and you can really see that. You know, your whole image is definitely, you got it spot on. And Esme, I love yours. Tyler, the creator is sick. And I think you did like the fit inspired by him really well. And Faith, yours is sick. You definitely look like a racer and you look like you can kick some ass. <laughs> and. Japs, sis, <laughs> I love yours. I think the whole message behind it is so important and um, the blues really work. So I can only pick one winner. The winner is... <laughs> Angel! Judging the girls on Navo was such an amazing experience. To see it all come to life was just so cool. Well done, guys. Wait, the group hug. <laughs> Shout out to my sister for coming through. That was so sick to have her on set. Like the video if you liked it. And thank you guys for watching. We love you.